Hey guys, Artosis here with the Moonlight Pro League. We are in an epic match right now. Uh, it is currently tied up 3-3 three to three in this 3 vs. 3 scan. A15 and Barracks going up against Ruin, HM, and Motive. It has been really back and forth so far. And here we go into match number 7 in the top right of Largo. We have Barracks. And in the bottom right, we have Ruin. Okay. Uh, Largo, of course, one of our new ASL maps. Uh, Largo seems like a pretty cool map. I, I really am looking forward to seeing how Terrans deal with taking their third base on this map because uh, the third base is very, very, very wide open. Uh, it, looks, it looks extremely hard to defend against just mass uh, gateway units and, and shuttles and stuff like that. And honestly, that's kind of Ruin's style in PVT. Uh, he definitely likes to get speed shuttles out and, uh, you know, either dive into the main or try to bust positions with them. Uh, he's done pretty well with that so far. And honestly, you know, looking at these two players, they're definitely both considered like up and coming. Uh, I would say that Barracks is probably considered slightly better than Ruin, but it's pretty close. It's, it's pretty close overall. Uh, but Barracks, of course, making it into ASL. Uh, he makes it into the big leagues occasionally. Ruin, I'm trying to think if we've seen him at all in ASL. I don't think so yet. Uh, but he makes it into some leagues, and he does pretty well overall. Of course, he was a pretty successful StarCraft II pro gamer for a little bit as well. Now, the probe coming up. Going to scout him first, and it looks like Barracks was wanting to do a gasless expansion. Uh, but he will need to take his gas since the probe is up here now, most likely. Like, I... I guess you could like risk not taking it if you think the probe's gonna. Oh my, oh my God! He's like he tried to turn around. He like drilled it back home. Tried to turn around to get it repaired, uh, but the probe actually stopped him. So, uh, some fancy micro there. Okay, so this is the worst case scenario. Um, we should cheat. We should see ruined cheese. I think. Like if he already has a zealot. On yeah, his zealot's coming. I guess you could re offensive gas him as well. And that could be a good move. But if you make all your stuff down here... Okay, so see the depot being made? I feel like if you see this depot being made in this situation, you, you should be cheesing his Protoss. Uh, and that's me saying that, right? So that means something. But, like, you stole his gas, and he's building everything on low ground. So, like, you can really put pressure. It's going to be a very long time before uh, we have, like, siege mode, for instance. So ranged goon's going to be extremely strong. Uh, it looks like, though, Ruin is... And the thing is, this is kind of weird because he's blocking the Nexus, which forces gas, which forces Cybernetic Score and higher level tech. Uh, and, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'd rather be playing against a Nexus here. Anyways, Barracks, a very good player. We'll see how he ends up dealing with it against Ruin. Ooh, good micro. Keeping these SCVs alive so far. This SCV just getting some solid RNG right there. And look at that. The Zealot will run by into the main base. There is another one coming. So to bring your Marines all up there, I mean, this is a full health Zealot now coming in. A very hurt SCV somehow gets away without being hit. Another very hurt SCV not getting hit. Uh, <laughs> and the Zealot walks by two trap Marines. Oh my God. There's craziness going on right now. Another another moment where I feel like Yakety Sacks should be playing. There was like a lot of opportunities here on both sides. Okay, so uh, the Zealot going to kill the Marine there, and it is going to get pushed out. Looks like he's making a few more Marines here as well. This SCV kind of blocking that Zealot for a minute, taking some damage. Going to go down for the scout. Another Zealot on the way. And I mean, I think it's all, it's about all done, like... You can harass a little bit more with this. I can't believe this thing still has 13 health. I just can't even believe it. This is actually too shocking to me, guys. I gotta, I gotta turn this game off. I can't do this anymore. The fact that these SCVs are just gliding perfectly away every single time. My God. This is what it is to be a pro gamer. Okay, well, he loses like a record low amount of SCVs considering there were so many in the red. And it looks like he's going to do a big push. He's killed like every Zealot, lost very little. And is sending five Marines across the map. Seven SCVs. More Marines rallied. Uh, he still doesn't have a gas. He's actually taking the gas at his natural, which is kind of funny. But there's like no units over here uh, for Ruin. So Ruin might end up being in a little bit of trouble. 
Yeah, look at the probes all coming out to fight. They're going to try to surround these Marines, but you're going to get a good amount of kills. Like, you can lose these Marines if you're killing a decent amount of probes with them. Now, the SCVs coming down, unfortunately, were a little bit late, so they didn't really help that much. They killed three probes. So they kill, the SCVs end up killing about three probes. It looks like he's still going to attack them. I'm not sure that this is actually useful. I feel like these should be drilling home right now. Uh, like they, I mean, this is like high health Protoss units. You don't need to fight this with, with seven SCVs. Like just send them home, please. Okay. Loses one there. I would say overall the Marine rush was effective, but if he turned around instantly with his SCVs after his, uh, Marines were dead and he stopped killing probes with them. I think it becomes a little bit stronger. Okay, let's take a look where we're at. Robo already out. Shuttle almost done. Reaver tech coming. We have that natural probe count. 22 against 29 SCVs. So a lot bigger economy right now for barracks. Of course, he did get this down very quickly. He did delay this. I feel like Ruin may be making a few micro errors in the beginning uh where he could have gotten more damage with the zealots around the command center uh, against some of the marines that was definitely a little bit of a problem for him uh and then like just the the a few of the choices a little bit of the micro but we'll see if he can come back with that reaver uh definitely though this situation looking a lot stronger for for barracks now the dragoon may be being killed here for one marine <laughs> maybe uh Kind of holding true to uh, having like a little bit suboptimal micro in decision making in these situations. Like there's killing a Marine there is not that important. The Marines are not actually that valuable anymore because you are going Reaver, right? So the Marines are basically just going to blow up if they ever fight. Uh, Reaver is out. And now we get to see how this goes. Barracks floating over. Okay. Already has engineering bay throwing down a turret here. Armory on the way. The first tank is not out. So that bunker is getting busted. If that's what he wants to do. Like you can actually just fly into the main base too. There's there's multiple choices that can be made here. All right. Looks like he wants to bust the bunker. Yep. Shouldn't be any problem there. And that's... I mean, this is becoming pretty difficult right now for barracks. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, the SCV out, he's, or the tank out, the SCVs are trying to block for it, but obviously one tank with no siege mode doesn't fare well against two Zealots, a Dragoon, and a Reaver, and a Shuttle. Uh, he's he's just kind of walking up now with the Reaver. He, I mean, this this is, this tank is being microed amazingly. This is just fantastic micro on the tank, but I don't know how much it matters. Like, he's just keeping the tank back. He might end up killing it. Oh my god, he doesn't repair uh, and, ooh, just barely keeps that shuttle alive. Probably wants to make a, a Goliath at this point. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Huge scarab right there. Look at this. 26 SCVs against 37 probes. Probably flying to a turret now. No? <laughs> now? 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 Ooh, just outside that turret range. We'll drop out the Reaver looking for some more kills and going to get some. Misses with that one. Ends up losing the Reaver. Okay, okay. So, at the end of all this, Ruin takes a big advantage. Uh, definitely it was advantage to Barracks slightly before that. But yeah, some interesting decisions on both sides, I would say. Now, Ruin has taken his third base. Starting to get his production underway, getting more Reavers. Forge coming up as well. I really like the Forge. Some of those upgrades going. Just kind of power now, I think. Uh, I think laying like a cannon down here would be really, really strong. Maybe even a cannon in here. And, of course, keeping the Reavers alive is going to be very important. Because, it, like, he saw everything that was going on. He saw two factories, basically, and turrets. So, if you just kind of have two Reavers in a shuttle and just the random smattering of gateway units you're making, it's going to be really difficult for... Uh, for Terran to really push into that at all, right? Like, he's not going to be able to really pressure you. So, from here, I think we're going to have to see Barracks go ahead and and think about taking a third. Um, Yeah, but it's going to be slow, right? Like, the Ru Ruin's going to macro up really quickly now. He's on 51 workers. He's got four gates. It, yeah, I, I really don't like this for Barracks at all in this spot. 
Everything looks like so disjointed for him. Only 40 workers. We're at 10 minutes right now. He's not even halfway on his armory upgrade. Okay, actually, I mean, a pretty big committal in here. He's getting some decent hits, though, and with no real anti-air, can just get out of there with the Reaver as well. Oh, man, even picking off uh, that SCV that was making the turret. Barrett's starting to push out. I wonder what Barrick's plan is going to be. Because Ruin right now, I feel like if Ruin macros up pretty cleanly and gets into slightly more tech, like maybe Psy Storm, I think actually he could go Arbiter here uh, as well. Like it's kind of his own choice, right? Because you can't really get an attack off. We actually have a good amount of Siege Shanks, right? Seven Siege Shanks. You're basically not going to die to anything when you're on two base here. Uh, there's the starport, so he's going to continue to upgrade uh, forward. It is a little bit slow timed out to get that 2-1 started. Looks like we do have a little bit of vulture harassment being tried, but of course cannon up here. Cannon warping in here, so not really finding much damage. Gets like a single dragoon there. And just kind of keeping his dragoons placed in good locations, spreading out some observers here as well on the different paths, seeing like a single vulture run by. But yeah, okay, so adding a couple factories, this is basically how you need to play because you are getting behind as far as the production goes. So a lot bigger economy for Ruin, and thus he's able to really produce off of these gates nonstop. So you need those extra factories, produce those units. There's not going to be a timing attack though for barracks, I don't think. I think what he's going to need to do is, like, Mega Turtle his third base and just try to get up to, like, a maxed out supply. Hope that Ruin runs into his Siege Tank lines a few times because at this point, Ruin has such an edge. Like, he has a lot more supply. He has a lot more army supply. That, yeah, it's just, it's it would be very difficult for Barracks to attack anytime soon. So we could see some additional greed coming out of Ruin, no doubt. All right, laying those two Reavers down. See what he can pick off. Oh, beautiful siege placement there from Barracks. Trying to get some Scarab shots off. Can't quite do it. All right, picks that up before the hits actually connect. Dropship being made. So maybe he can slip that in and get some damage. Good old tank to Vulture. Try to set it up to be very annoying. Okay, it does look like uh, Psy Storm was the choice here from Ruin. And he does like that, so I was getting uh, shuttle speed right now as well to go with that. And especially in a game like this, where you're kind of super saturated because you're sitting on two bases for a long time, if he gets a couple good storms out, that's really going to, to destroy the entire economy. Now, this drop, let's see what it can get done. All right, dropping out some vultures. Maybe he can lay some mines in the mineral line and see if uh, the Zalts are dumb enough to run into it. <laughs> He's going to remove that. Ooh, that's a good tank volley right there. Six kills, 11 kills. I mean, pretty decent. Pretty decent. Can't just shrug at 11 probe kills, but I mean, losing a siege shank, two vultures. He shows that he has the drop ship, so uh, we should see uh, some additional cannons being added, like one here. Yeah, and honestly, I could see him adding like one more up here, maybe. Like, maybe even there? I don't know. Well, he throws the forge down, but either way. Uh, looks like Ruin taking top left and bottom left. Yeah, dude. It, honestly, you can just kind of see how difficult a situation this is becoming. Uh, like, PvP, a general rule is you can't, on a four-player map, let Protoss get both other mains. Because it's just too easy to rebuild everything at that point. Uh, they can build gateways in every other main base and just kind of, like, stop you from ever... Ooh, stop you from ever, um, like, stopping their production, which is a lot of times how you win when you're a little bit behind. Okay, so the Psystorm drop comes in, but actually it was dodged reasonably well. 62 uh, SCVs remain, which is enough. You can see he's kind of super turtle pushing into his third base, which makes a lot of sense. This is all unbuildable terrain, so he can't make any turrets in that area, which is a little bit problematic for him. Uh, this area definitely prime for dropping in if he gets multiple speed shuttles up here. So just kind of utilizing these Reavers, though. Slowing this down as much as he can. Gonna remove some of those Scarabs. Hilarious to watch a dudded Scarab not kill a mine. 
Okay, starts to come in now. What is, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't think that there's really any any need of a move like that. Like, I mean, slowing this base down is good, but honestly, Ruin can just macro up right now, right? He's got like 1,300 minerals. He's got tons of the math. Uh, and if he just maxes out and attacks downhill, that's going to be tough enough in and of itself to hold on against. All right, looks like he is going to try to bust in here. The Zealot's running forward. Let's see. Oh, those Psy Storms, just ridiculous. And the tank's going to get taken out. A lot of the SCVs getting taken out as well. Still an okay SCV count. So that's not the end of the world. But is he going to end up losing this command center? Another storm goes down. Not really targeting very well. Okay, yeah, he should definitely dive upon that. You do not want to let that live. Just target it. Just target it. Takes a real long time to target it, and all of his units that shoot up get killed. Okay, this... I mean, Ruin is a great player, but this is extremely, extremely sloppy. He could have killed this command center so easily. Literally, if he right-clicks it at all, it ends up dying. So, Barracks keeping the hope alive uh, by wiping out that army. He's kept most of his SCVs alive, which is really, really good. Continuing to push forward. He does have 3-2 on the way right now. Ruin just kind of flying around. Uh, and again, honestly, like, I think just macroing up at this point is a great choice if Ruin does that, right? Add your gateways all over the place. Just get your macro actually flowing. Oh, another storm drop comes down. Okay, now he's starting to really hurt the economy. It's taken a few, but that's all right. You know, he's, he's finally getting in there and getting that damage done. 47 workers left. The main is almost dry, so it's still like kind of an okay probe count or SCV count rather. Uh, and of course, you don't want to be spending more money on SCVs right now uh, as as barracks. Let's take a look at what Ruin is up to. He is adding a gate here. He's adding three gates in the top left. Hmm. Yeah, flying around still with the shuttle. Looks like two tanks going to be dropped up here and. We actually don't have any units yet, so you know what? That could be a pretty effective drop for a little bit, like clear out some of the probes. If he sends some vultures up there, then suddenly he has a situation where he might be able to kill this base, but actually, you know what? He might not even know that that's there. This this dropship turns on a dime and heads towards bottom left, so I think he doesn't even realize that top left has been taken. All right, looks like Barracks with a beautiful spread on his sea tanks wants to start pushing out. Uh, this is a, a ripe situation for Zealot Bombs, if he does want to try any of those. Yeah, he has some Zealots here. Uh, no real anti-air here, right? We have, like, one turret there and one turret there. So, definitely not something that can be stopped easily. Now, Ruin's starting to run in. Diving on top. Okay, gonna drop out some High Templars. Having a hard time getting those storms out. Trying to bust through. Okay, there you go. Some solid storms coming out now. Mm, well, I mean, he's reducing the, the army count here of, of Barracks. You can see how hurt Barracks is right now. He just doesn't have a lot. It's really hard to fight back against this. It looks like, oh, his Sea Chink drop actually did a lot during this time as well. Looks like it did end up getting cleared, but killed some of the probes. Still 60 workers here over five bases, three of which are mains for Ruin. Barracks continuing to rally down. Well, I mean, okay, uh, he's trying to run the vultures up, but honestly, with this many cannons, the vultures won't get anything done. I understand, like, he's he's trying to, like, rotate vultures right now. He's trying to rebuild that seed chain count, and he has three, two, but... Like, honestly, this is the Siege Chain count you have at, like, 9 minutes. Not not at 19 minutes in the game where you're playing against Max Protoss. And, like, the way that it's being approached by Ruin, I guess he can do anything at this point and win the game. But, honestly, if he just maxes out, like, three times in attack moves, there's 0% chance of holding that. Oh, the big Psy Storm drop on the high ground gets a lot of kills. Eight kills on this High Templar. But now he's just attacking Dragoons uh, into a million 3-2 tanks. He's going to have to pull those back. 34 SCVs only here for Barracks. Barracks trying to push up this hill. 
Trying to make something happen as he floats a command center over. Looks like that was his main CC going for that fourth base now. All right, more reinforcements coming out. 10 zealots at a time. It's kind of funny watching this game, honestly. Like, I think both these pros are really good, but Ruin is just not making finishing moves here. He's like not maxing out for any attacks. He's like, <laughs> all right, here we go. This is the finishing move. Dives out, throwing down a size storm. Plenty of units coming down. The Siege Shanks are just so reduced in size now. Very few Zealots, though. It's mostly a Dragoon-based army. Zealots running up on top of these tanks. And, I mean, okay, that's going to be that. GG. Ruin takes on Barrett.